Happy Valentine's Day 2019. This is student meteorologist Zach Duhane with the forecast update on this merely sunny day. Still see some of that snow on the ground from the storm early in the week. I'll have some students walking to and from class and temperature wise, we are right where we should be on either side of 40, 39 here in Danbury, 40 in the capital city, 42 in Bridgeport and a 43 in New London. So we're talking about warm coming in for Friday. So overall, nice day for Friday. Could be some showers though, especially in the morning, drying out though for the weekend. So any weekend plans, A-OK. -okay. Next week could be stormy, but I want to show you why we're not expecting a lot of snow yet again, because the pattern just does not support it across the area. So current satellites, some clouds coming back in from the west. They will increase throughout the afternoon and evening. Uh, I think most of the day is cloud free in terms of heavy clouds coming in. There's they're thick clouds, I should say, but this evening you'll get more clouds coming in. Uh, it's a little snow or rain back to the west. That's, I think, a kind of ground clutter. I'm not seeing anything reports of any snow falling, so I think we're high and dry through about midnight tonight. So tomorrow on Friday, nice and mild temperatures around 50, but with a dot, dot, dot. That also comes within some showers also with the mild air. So we have the clouds in the showers for Friday. Temperatures mild about 1 p.m. in future radar. Some showers leaving the state starts after midnight. Some scattered showers, not a big rain event but not a nice Friday at all. Now the weekend's cool, but dry temperatures. I was talking about around 40 degrees so on the cooler side, but not talking about any rain or snow. That does change from Monday though. There could be a little system that brings in a little bit of light snow. Good news, it's already President's Day. So for any schools that are worried about canceling school, most schools are already off regardless. And I think this is right now, again, it's too early to say how much, but could be a, maybe a light coating to an inch right now, not looking like anything big at all. Wednesday, uh, Tuesday to Wednesday could be another bigger mess of a storm with snow to ice to rain. And what's going on with the pattern? Why haven't we seen a big snowstorm? What's the deal with all these mix and rain events? Well, here's why. I'll show you the answer right now. We have a storm that cuts off. It's a little bit exaggerated, but way to the west of us. So we bring the mild air out of the south, warm from to the north. Again, so we push the mild air into Connecticut, colder back to the west. So this is not what we want to see. We get mild uh, temperatures with mix, maybe some snow into rain. These mixed bag storms like we saw a few weeks back, then again this past week. But for a classic snowstorm, which we haven't seen yet this entire year, in 2018, 2019 so far, we have the warm front staying to our south, so the southerly wind does not get into the area. Northerly wind in place, so cold air is locked in. And you see the graphic, heavy snow across Connecticut right now. No model indicates this pattern setting up for any type of big snowstorm anytime soon. So if you're a snow fan, unfortunately, no good news, news for you. Tonight's forecast, happy Valentine's Day one again. Uh, once again, any evening plans overall dry after midnight could be some showers. So temperatures around freezing, they'll be warming up actually over the night. So we're not worried about any icing. Tomorrow's forecast around 50, breezy in the afternoon, some morning showers and some afternoon sun, probably uh, right around sunset. And then for the weekend forecast on either side of 40, around 39, 37 degrees, pretty much right where we should be. Some passing clouds at times. Sunday night to Monday could be a little bit of light snow. Happy President's Day as well. So it uh, could be a little dicey, but right now some models are saying, hey, it's nothing. So we'll have to see what happens with that dry on Tuesday, maybe a storm by Wednesday of next week. This is student meteorologist Zach Duhame. Enjoy the rest of your day.